Welcome back to Awesome Camps, and today we have another opportunity for you to get to know what's going on in the auto industry. And today we have plenty of news from the auto industry. Today we have like an overflow of SUVification culture news. That's what we have. You guys want the SUVs? The auto industry is bringing the SUVs, and Awesome Camps have to bring all the news from the SUV market. So right now we're gonna talk about the Alfa Romeo is not showing up with the Alfa Romeo GTA Stelvio. Ferrari's bringing the Pura Sangue, the SUV that they have promised. Then Audi's coming with the Q9 and we have Toyota who's gonna unveil the solid state battery EV, promising a lot of miles per charge. And then the one of the best cars I expect to be mine. Maybe I purchase one in the future. Hmm, I don't know. But let's start with Ozzy Kim's. But before that, I would like you guys to subscribe for more news at Ozzy Kim's. Check me out on Facebook at Ozzy Kim's and on Instagram, coach underscore Oscarillo. And become part of the community of Ozzy Kim's because, look, there's plenty of videos right here. And you can actually get to see a lot of reviews that I have made in the United States, in Europe and so on and here one of this uh, my favorite videos right here is with my friend mike hayward right here right here there you go this guy right there is going to be with me in a podcast soon from as soon as we figured out how to do it from uh, through zoom and he's going to be with me he's one of the funniest guys that i ever met right here i have another video with him i had so much fun with him in the united states but let's just stop with that and let's go back to what's going on with the auto industry and today we're going to start with that Alfa Romeo is not going to bring the GTA M Alfa Romeo Stelvio to the market. They're axing it out because the parent company, the FCA, the Ferrari, is bringing their own SUV, the Puro Sangue. Puro Sangue, which means pure blood or pure breed in the United States. Pure bread, pure bread. That's what it is. But Pura Sangre is a pure blood. That's what they're bringing. And this is a video from Virix on YouTube. And here is in Maranello, the new SUV Vispok is with the, basically with the spy shots. We should not have this. If they get this, mm, look, but if you stop it right there, this reminds me this SUV right here. And if Ferrari comes, with this type of SUV, like they use the Levante from Maserati platform, they're gonna pull a really decent, really good SUV design and put a Ferrari engine in there. Hmm, it's gonna be molto bella, molto benissimo, benissimo. But, but, well, let's go with Le Levante, and I will say that Ferrari is betting on having the new SUV soon. If you can tell right here, the rear lights and the hunches and the rear glass, it, it sells out that is a Levante platform or they're using at least the Levante as one of the prototypes. Maybe they use the Stelvio, we don't know. But that was supposed to be, that SUV was supposed to be in the platform of the Alfa Romeo and no longer they're gonna have that available. So, sorry for Alfa Romeo. Great for the Pura Sangue Ferrari. So moving on to more news, Audi Q9 unofficially rendering reviews right now all over the internet. And this, you, I say it again, the SUVification of the auto industry. You guys want SUVs? That's what's happening right now. They're bringing SUVs to everybody with all the flavors, all the colors, all the sizes. And this one is a huge, Sport Ute. This is going to compete with the Mercedes GLS and the BMW X7. Um, it's going to be based on the platform of the Q7 and it's going to come with a twin turbocharged 4.0 V8 that is going to make over 600 horsepower and it's going to come um, uh, in a regular version. I don't think that they're going to bring the S or RS right away, but you know how Audi is. Audi always bring the models S and RS to the auto industry. I love the Q8. It's one of my favorite uh, SUVs right now in the market, actively. I wish I can buy one in the future. I don't know, I, I would like to get one because they're highly problematic, but 
Anyways, so <laughs> let's move on. Not about the reliability, but the looks. Look at the look of this rendering. It looks like a ready product to go. Like I will say that this could be the look and they will win. They will have a good, good uh, product out there. So let's talk about right now about Toyota and Toyota is about to unveil the solid state battery EV prototype next year and their bespoke battery that nobody knows about, but they're just talking about rumors. So right now, Toyota says or claims that they're going to have a ready vehicle to go on 2021, a pure VEV. But right now, I, I know that Toyota is selling the CHR as a vehicle in electric vehicle in China and to me, that's going to be the one that they're going to bring right away because it's already in production. Why they will not do that, right? So this new solid state battery is going to bring over 621 miles to charge per charge. That's amazing. <laughs> and even better, it's going to take only 10 minutes to charge, man. Like, I'm not kidding. This is what we're looking for in Toyota. I, I always knew. I was talking about the Mac E the other day. That is the one to buy right now. If you want an electric vehicle right now, you get the Mac E. But I always said it, and you can check on my previous video. I said until Toyota brings their own vehicle, and I'm 100% sure. Leave it in your comments down below. Become part of the community and tell me if I'm right or wrong. And if I'm doing something wrong, please leave it in the comments too. If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. That's it. That's how I can improve my videos for the future. But right now, I believe that Toyota is going to be the most successful, the most successful automaker for the BEVs. And I'm not, I'm not talking lightly about this. Toyota is the number one hybrid vehicles maker in the world. And right now, they're coming with a solid state battery. Game over, Tesla. Game over. Everybody else, move out of the way or just get to do business with Toyota because they're going to bring the best solid state battery for the auto industry. This one says that they claim, Toyota says that their batteries are going to last up to 30 years and up to 90% of their batteries are going to be good enough to keep performing after 30 years. Or uh, what are you talking about, guys? <laughs> right now, people are not buying uh, electric vehicles because uh, it's the hype. They're buying it because it's very sensitive to the, uh, to the environment and also that they can save money in their uh, every days, right? But right now, uh, if you're buying an electric vehicle, one of the biggest... Uh, questions are how long is the battery going to last? So now Toyota is telling you that 30 years is going to be the possible uh, mark of the battery with up to 90% uh, life and performance. That's really good. So to uh, end this news today, we are going to talk about the Toyota Supra 2.0 that made it made the cars and drivers 10 best this year. For the 2021 and which model made the car and driver best 10 best of the year is the supra 2.0 liter four cylinder engine the 255 horsepower vehicle that one is the one to buy i will say that that's the true sports car from toyota right now other than the brs the the gt86 or g yeah the toyota 86 or that soon to be named the GRM86 or the GR86. It's, it has changed for so many names. It started with the FRS, G86. Uh, it's so many names that it's so freaking confusing right now. But this Toyota with 255 horsepower is capable to do 4.5 seconds on zero to 60 and give you up to 34 miles to the gallon at 75 miles per hour highway economy, which is great. When, when you buy a sports car, you don't want to sacrifice your pocket. You're already paying a pretty penny for the vehicle. Why not have good mileage, right? Like good uh, MPG and you just use money for something else. Look at the silhouette of this vehicle. People complain because this is not an actual Toyota Supra. This is a BMW. Yes, it is a BMW, but it's tuned by Toyota. And that's what's important about this. Toyota worked with BMW and they fine tune this vehicle. I believe that the Supra name and the heritage from the actual uh, Mark IV Supra is living in this vehicle, especially in the 2.0 four-cylinder turbocharged. 
If I buy one, this is the one to go for because this is the one that is on 43,985. If you think about it, the top of the line 370Z right now is around that price. Why not getting a brand new platform, brand new car that is out there, it's nice looking and it's very capable and people have proven that the platform works. Why not? Why not, right? So I will leave you with this today and I will tell you guys, do not forget to subscribe to us. I can't to get to see all these videos that you, I have in my collection right here. Subscribe and you will become a successful person. Believe me, honestly. No, no, that's not true, but if you might be, I don't know. So I, I will see you guys next time with more news in the auto industry. Until the next one.